Hi guys, welcome to physics series. Today we have a specimen 2023 paper 4 question 6 part A. Figure 6.1 shows a converging lens and its principal axis. The points F1 and F2 are each a principal focus of the lens. An object O is placed between F1 and the lens. In section I on figure 6.1, draw two rays from the top of the object O to locate the image and label the image I. Here, the O is placed between the F1, which is the principal focus, and the center of the lens. So I'm going to start my drawing by drawing one ray here, which is parallel to the principal axis. Then this ray is going to be uh, emerging the, con the convex lens and passing through the F2. This is the principal focus at the, at the, uh, the right side. Secondly, we draw another ray passes through the center. This one does not refract to pass in along the, there's no refraction at all. Then we draw the arrows. Please do not forget to draw the arrows. Then the, the rays, they, they are not uh, made together to form the image at the right side. We have to draw the extension for each refracted ray. For the first one, this is that using the ruler and you draw a dotted line and we draw another dotted line for the second ray. So they meet together to form the image. But this image is going to be a virtual image and it's formed upright as well. So we get three marks for this. For And please do not forget to label the image as he said here, which is I. In double I, the object always moves to the left along the principal axis so that it is further from the lens than F1. Figure 6.2 is a diagram of the new arrangement with the new images shown. Underline three of the terms below that describe the images shown in figure 6.2. And this question has two marks. Here, if you compare between the size of image and the size of the object, the image is slightly larger, bigger than the object O. So I'm going to underline the first one, which is enlarge. Secondly, the arrow here is upright, but uh, the image is inverted or upside down. So the second one, which is inverted. And the third point, which is if you use a ruler and you start to draw the rays, uh, whatever is parallel to the principal axis and passing through the F2 or passing through the F1, then parallel to the principal axis, the two rays, the refracted ray, rays at, at the right side, they meet. Uh, to form the image for this reason is going to be a real image. So we get two marks for the section uh, double I. For B, figure 6.3 shows yellow light passing through the glass prism. Blue light enters the prism along the same path as the yellow light. On figure 6.3, we are going to draw the path of the blue light as it enters and passes through and leaves the prism. Here, because he said the blue light enters the prism along the same path, so I draw the blue here. Then second point is uh, how to draw the normal. This for you, which makes a 90 degree with the uh, first surface or the first side of the glass prism, and it's uh, gonna be a dotted line. Secondly, it's impossible for the rays as it enters the gloss prism to continue along the path. So slightly is going to be refracted. But I don't know that it must be refracted above the yellow or below the yellow. Remember the rainbow or the spectrum. We have Roy Jibbev, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. So the blue must be below the yellow. So I'm going to draw a straight line here below the yellow. And then at the other side of the gloss prism, draw another normal, which makes 90 degree, as I said before. And then it refracted away from the normal, makes a, an increase in the angle of emergence. Once you leave the, the second side of the gloss prism. Do not forget to draw the rays or the arrows on the rays. So this one for the incident light ray and the second one, which is the refracted light ray, and finally, the emergent light ray.
So you get two marks for showing the normal and the how much refraction happened. The blue light must be below the yellow and showing the emergent light ray. So you finally get two marks. Thank you for watching. If you have any difficulties in any physics questions, please leave uh, this one in the comment. And um, if you'd like the video, please do not forget to share and like and subscribe. Thank you.